Xander, some teams are, are practicing real early in the morning. You guys are out here yeah. three to six, the uh, hottest part of the day. Mm -hmm. How are you dealing with the heat so far? Uh, I think we're doing pretty well. I mean, some guys, you know, me included, uh, we got to drink more. Got to make sure we're drinking throughout the day, uh, not just showing up on an empty stomach and just got to prepare. But it's, yeah, it's good. Your team won a, a District 3 playoff game last year for the first time in school history. Uh, how does it feel to accomplish something that, that had never been done before? Yeah, I mean, it really felt amazing. I mean, that that night, it was crazy. The, the stands, I, that was the most, most I ever seen it packed. But uh, we're moving on from that game now, and we're looking to build on that game. Have you noticed that your teammates are more confident this year because of that? Probably, yeah. Yeah, we have a little bit more swagger, I'd say. And, and what are your expectations for this season? I mean, we're going to take it game by game, but anything less than that, I mean, it's not good season. You really want to get back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts now on joining the Lancaster Lebanon League? It's uh, kind of a big story with, mm -hmm. with the Burks League merging with the, the LL. Uh, is it something that you're looking forward to? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're playing new teams. I always like playing new teams, but we also get to play a couple of teams that we've been playing, like School Valley and those guys. So, yeah. What does that rivalry mean? The the, the uh, cross bowl. Yeah, that's always a big. That's always a big game that we're always looking out for. So, uh, huge rivalry. Uh, you were busy this summer, traveling all over the place, different camps. When you talk with college coaches, uh, what do they like about your game? What are some of the things that they want you to improve on? Uh, they like my size. They like my uh, arm strength. And they like the type of kid I am. Um, everyone says that I need to get faster, so that's kind of what I've been working on. But uh, I think I'll, I'll do fine this season. And you've also uh, worked with Jim Cantafio, who had a lot of success at, at a bunch of different high schools, including Wilson. What yeah. are some of the things that, that you've learned from him? I mean, he's the GOAT. I mean, he... <laughs> Just uh, ask him, yeah, right? Yeah, He'll I mean, tell you. <laughs> I mean, almost everything I learned is coming from him. So, I mean, he's the best around. And I just saw he's he's done now. He's done coaching in the fall. So, hopefully he still does summer sessions. Um, Deani Ruiz uh, has graduated. So, who are some of the other skill position players that, that you're going to look to get to ball, the ball to? Uh, Ada Renninger, Pierce Mason, a couple other running backs I think will fill in nice. Uh, we have a couple nice receivers. Uh, Derek will probably play a little slot. Aiden Redinger, um, I already said Aiden Redinger. Uh, Cohen Carell, Alex Benz, Ty Worley, Ken McFarland. I mean, we got we got a bunch of guys that we can swip swap around. Yeah. So I've heard a lot about Aiden, and I think you mm -hmm. just mentioned him three times yeah. in about ten seconds. So he's only a sophomore. Yep. Uh, what type of potential does he have? I mean, sky's the limit for that kid. Uh, he's really shifty. And, I mean, fastest kid I've ever seen, really. But, uh, yeah, he has a high ceiling. Faster than Deani was? Yeah, I'm going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to say that. I'm not afraid of him. He's not here now. Yeah, so yeah. You, you, can, you can get away with yeah, that Yeah, I think stuff. you can beat him. <laughs> Obviously, your dad's uh, out here. Mm -hmm. Do you guys talk football at home, or do you kind of leave it in the practice field? Yeah, we definitely talk. Even though he's not the OC anymore, uh, I'm kind of teaching him the offense a little bit here and there because he can't be out here every second. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice talking about football. Uh, a quarterback's best friend is his offensive line. Mm -hmm. How are the big guys looking up front this year? Yeah, I mean, we have a couple guys returning that are solid dudes, uh, and I'm confident in that. I'm confident in my guys. Who would you say is the strongest kid on the team? Ooh. I'd say lower body, probably Charles Shepard, no doubt. Upper body, I'm going to say either me or Mason Semmel. I've never heard anyone break it down like that. Yeah. That's good analysis yeah. there. <laughs> she Shepard's pretty strong over body, too. Not his legs, though. His legs are... I mean, he's crazy at, in squat. You wouldn't know. want to be sacked by him. No. Right? No. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, who's the smartest guy on the team? Hmm. I'd like to say me, but... Uh... I'd say probably Kevin McFarlane, too. He's, he's, he's right there with me. What about the funniest guy? Funniest who, guy? Who jokes around a lot? Uh... I'm gonna say probably Derek Louise or Charles Char Shepard probably. And how does Derek compare to Diani? Uh, Derek's probably a little more laid back as Diani was. Diani was more of a crazy wacko. <laughs> uh, Derek's more of a chill kind of 
chill kind of guy. I guess every he still cracks jokes every once in a while. I guess every team needs one wacko, yeah. right? <laughs> and uh, what about your favorite teachers at, at Hamburg and uh, the classes that you like the most? Uh, I like history. So uh, Mr. Klein's our history teacher. He's probably my favorite. Uh, I learned a lot from him. I know you've you visited a bunch of colleges. Uh, let's say everyone was offering a full ride and, and you could pick one, mm -hmm. your choice. W which school would you like to go to the most? Oh, Penn State. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, if you're from Pennsylvania, you don't, you don't wanna go to Penn State. I don't know what you're, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, how do you think Nick Singleton from Governor Mifflin's gonna do up there? Yeah, he's doing good. I, I, saw, I saw a couple of plays in the blue and white game. I was at the blue and white game and I saw a couple of his plays and he, has, he hasn't skipped a beat. Yeah, you know, I saw him, yeah, he's. Last thing, uh, what do you like to do just for fun and, and just to relax? I know you don't have a lot of free time, yeah. but when, when you do, what do you like to do? Uh, I'm a big golfer, i say, yeah. I work out on that a little bit too. Ever have a hole in one? No, No. close, but eh, close, <laughs> close doesn't count. Well, something to shoot for. Yeah, yep. Well, I appreciate your time and good luck this season. Thank you.